see if we can get the video split. There we go. All right, you hear me? Oh, no, now I don't hear you. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you totally had me going. Because it was, it's also lagging a little bit, and you were like frozen. I'm like, uh, uh. all right, so, all right, so here we go. We're ready. This is exciting. The last Fleer box that we broke was 85 Fleer. Yes, we and is it there, was awesome. It was a good is box. Are puzzle guys in this one that we need to be looking for? Yes, there is. Um, and it's actually, um, uh, there's a couple other 84 Fleer breaks, um, and I'm very disappointed in them because they blow right by. There's three double cards, and I hope we hit them so we can give those guys their due. Um, we're going to start with Brian M. And Stu is in this break, by the way. Stu Stone hey. of Jack of All Trades. Um, by the way, you've had some um, Jack of All Trades news since we broke last. Uh, you got, like, the on Netflix, is it Canada? Yeah, yeah, we're now on Netflix in Canada, so that's really exciting. Um, that was a big deal, right? This would that's a huge deal, uh, especially yeah. since, you know, the store takes place sort of locally in Canada and Toronto. And it's been it's been going crazy, man. It's been snowballing. It's, it's insane. Um, a side note on this 84 Fleer set, it's got some historic um, – it's historic for me because, you know, uh, this would probably be the thing that's going to kickstart me. So, I'm, like, participating in this insane break. If you would have told me that we were going to be breaking 1984 Fleer in 2019, I would have, <laughs> I would have thought you were crazy. Right? Uh, it's pretty wild, though. Imagine if we were breaking the 84 Fleer update set. Now, that would be something. Those sets are, um, those sets are crazy, 84 Fleer update. But, yeah, this, um, this is pretty awesome. There's so much more to look for in this than just the matting. Like, a lot of people get caught up in that. Of course, that's our big card of value but there's uh there's a lot of cool cards in this so um brian m is the first stack hopefully he is on the um veterans committee and um uh, with a lot of other guys but um it sounds like i mean it just feels like there's a lot of steam behind him for this one like like every time you see him brought up people are like yeah he should be in he should be in and when when people start saying that it usually happens so um so we'll see hopefully um and by the way there is a lotto for this one um, who has who have we uh, noticed the style of in a lot of our breaks recently? Um, uh, Mr. Trout, Mr. Steve Trout. So his nickname, right, is Rainbow. What else? Rainbow Trout. So if you compare Steve Trout with either Tim Rainsbow cards, <laughs> then <laughs> then that's the lotto. So and the lotto is a box of holiday. Wow. Yeah. A holiday mega box from Target. Those are really fun. I opened one the other day. But um, but anyway, let's get right in. Uh, first pack for Brian M. 84 Fleer. Uh, you know, since last time we spoke, the Houston Astros got caught cheating. Yes, that is uh, – I don't know what's going to happen with that. I mean, I, it's, it sounds like they're just caught absolutely red-handed. Um, uh, all right, here we go. Exciting. Ed Jurak. Julio Cruz, Kent Herbeck, nice. Hey. It's like a thir third-year card. Fred Lynn. These look like pretty sharp. Yeah, Fred Lynn is one of those guys that uh, he won Rookie of the Year and MVP, um, believe it or not. It was before our time, but he actually uh, – there was some controversy about that because he played like professional ball in like Japan or something for like two seasons and then came over and then won Rookie of the Year. Um, or something like that, but uh, I remember that about him. But uh, Fred Lynn, Bob Boone, Keith Moreland, Putnam, Scurry, Ebner, Eddie Murray, first Hall of Famer. Nice. That's a nice. That's a nice condition too. The Jeff Hackman, Leonard, the Hackman, Jeff Leonard. Yes. Strikeout or power. Buck Martinez and Steve Sachs on the Sachs. back there. Uh, he actually has one of the double cards, Steve Sachs. Sachs also of the Springfield Isotope uh, softball team, or the was he on the uh, Mr. Burns oh, the Simpsons? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eddie Murray. I forget we got a smaller screen on the on the Skype, so I try to keep it censored. All right, 
Second pack for Brian M. And Bill Kruger. Checklist. Jesse Orozco. Orozco. Look at the photography on these. Bobby Brown, a uh, pop star and baseball player, Bobby Brown. <laughs> right? Before uh, before my prerogative hit, like hit the charts. Wasn't he like a commissioner of baseball, too? <laughs> I think he was, actually, because I do remember that, actually. That like, he was... Bobby Brown autographs, like, on the baseballs. <laughs> right. I remember that back in the my prerogative days. John Butcher. <laughs> Ozzy Virgil. Floyd Rayford. Chet Lemon. Chuck Porter. You know, uh, Chet Levin, not to be confused. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I'm, uh, I'm wrong. Bud Anderson, look at that stash. Alan Wiggins and Greg Walker, DH. All right, second pack, not that great, but um, moving right along. Your nice clean packs, though. The corner going all look sharp. The packs look good. The, um, the cards are really sharp in this. This is just such a nice set. Um, Definitely hope uh, Francona, uh, Hall of Famer to manager. I see. Tim Tuffle. Donnie Moore. Peace. Bob Welch. Alfredo Griffin. Very, very nice guy. Um, you ran over. In, uh, he, he ran over. I was the only, only person there at the very end of a baseball game at Boardwalk and Baseball. And he was running sprints like a half an hour after the game. And I had nothing on me. Everyone had left. And I ran back to my seat. And I, I ran back. And he was the only one there. And I, and I called him over. And he, like, uh, he didn't want to come over. It was, like, way, way after the game. He's probably just trying to, like, loosen up a Charlie horse or something. But anyway, he ran all the way over and gave me. He, um, he signed the ticket. I had, only had the ticket in my pocket. And he signed that. Um, and That's I hope great. I still have that. But um, just a super nice guy. And then ran back out there and started running sprints and with, like, no one to see other than, like, the grounds crew or whatever. But. Um, so kudos to Al Alfredo Griffin for that. I always remember that. No hall. World Series, World Series champion Alfredo Griffin. Absolutely, he played on a lot of great teams, um, and he just missed out on the uh, on the A's because um, Walt Weiss came along when they um, when they hit their heyday. Lee Mazzilli and Ray Knight with four bats there. All right, let's see if we can hit something a little hotter. Um, maybe one of those double cards. Um, Larry Parrish, Tom Hume. He has the uh, in 85 Fleer. He has the, the red mouth. Um, Greg Gross. Oh, look. Hey, that's a good one. Glenn, Glenn Hubbard. Hubbard. Snake. Yes, this is one that uh, Jabs just blew right by, and it really kind of annoyed me. Um, I'm going to go back and sleeve that. We can. I don't know if you know the story of that um, that snake card, but that's pretty. The Philly Fanatics got the photo bomb in there too. Yes, what happened was it was the Philly Fanatics' birthday. There's Brett and Perry. That's a cool card. Uh, the Pine Tar Incident card. Making, are they making a joke of the Pine Tar Incident right there? <laughs> How dare they! And, of course, Gaylord Perry is the one that uh, stole the bat and tried to run off with it. Uh, you know, obviously, he knows a thing or two about cheating and getting caught. So when, when that whole incident happened, it was like he made off with the bat. Like, there's a video of him, like, sneaking down the clubhouse tunnel with the bat. And they had to run and actually physically get it back from him, the umpires. Because wow. once he makes it back to the clubhouse, it's mixed in with other bats. There's no evidence. There's no – like, he – he was, so, but that's that's why he's there with. Like mugging for the camera, like a year later. <laughs> I know, uh, but uh, yeah, that bat's in the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. Um, that very bat, and as a matter of fact, uh, Gaylord Perry is the one that got him to stop. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I remember an interview with him where he was talking about this incident. He said, "You know, Gaylord Perry is like, are you still using that bat? Like a week later." And he was like, yeah, I'm so – he's like, are you kidding me? That bat is so popular. That's going to be like a million-dollar bat. It's like, stop using that bat. Like, you're going to break it in half or something. And, like, he did – he did uh, – he immediately stopped and, like, I forget what they did. But uh, they asked for it soon after that. If you go – if you get uh, some George Brett, like, 1988 Fleer, he's still got pine tar all the way up his bat. It's like, he's <laughs> – Right. Well, I mean, it ended up they, you know, he it it ended up in his favor. Like they reversed yeah. the ruling, um, which yeah. happens next to never. But um, we had a Pete Rose that's a little bit off cut there, um, but it's a nice card. 
So the Glenn oh, Hubbard, st- um, the Glenn Hubbard, uh, just because, you know, jabs blew right by this card and um, it's kind of got a little story behind it. So you notice the Philly Fanatic, it was the, it was, this was in, you know, Veteran Stadium and Philly Fanatic's uh, birthday was that day. That's why you see, actually, you'll see Barney Rubble um, in the background uh, over his, uh, over his right shoulder. Oh yeah, look at that. So everyone, it's like a big carnival on the field, right? And um, there's a guy with a snake. So he's down there and he's like, hey man, um, let me take a picture with a snake. I don't know when I'll ever be able to do that again. And he thought nothing of it, right? And like the next year in spring training, some kid walks up to him with this card and is like, hey man, sign my car, this card for me. And he's like, what? where did you get this? What is this? The, he already had the picture. The photographer sent him an eight by 10 of it. And he was like, that's awesome. Thank you. But he had no idea it was going to be on a baseball card, and he actually hated it. And he refused to sign the card for years. Um, people would send it to him in the mail, and he would send them back a different card, like signs. Um, wow. Because he really he hated it. Um, but as years gone, he, just, he, he could care less. And there's actually a bobblehead of him with the snake around him, a minor league team that he managed. Um, I think Lexingville, I can't remember what it was. But anyway, it's like a Kentucky um, like, you know, minor league team. And they did like a, um, a Glenn Hubbard bobblehead night and he's got the snake around him. And ever since then, I think he's kind of embraced it. Um, but yeah, that that's a- how that, that card came to be is that there was just, it was just a um, freelance photographer that sent it into Fleer and Fleer's trying to stand out in this set um, this year. You know, they put, they advertise, they have the two um, photos on each card. You can obviously tell the photography is a step up. And um, so, so they were just trying to be, you know, uh, hopefully we hit it, but there's a Jay Johnstone card that's very interesting. Also, and umbrella hat. Yes, um, I actually I think I remembered that from your Instagram um, uh, that you I think posted it last year or something. All right, so let's move right along. That was a that was a fun back though. Uh, Jody Davis, Dave Henderson, when Badlock, Garner, Wayne Gross, Steve Kemp. And Mike Marshall, Dennis Leonard, Ernie Witt, Bob Nepper, Bob Grinch, and Ozzy Smith on the back. Wizard. Just a little also, bit. He, was right. the guy that, he, he could turn two with Steve Sachs on that same softball team on The Simpsons. <laughs> That's right. I have to watch that one again. The Simpsons, uh, the Simpsons guys were obviously baseball fans. They did a lot of... Um, it's a lot of baseball cameos, and um, they, they did the Billy Ripken, I know, at one point, right? I didn't, didn't see they, that. I think they made fun of the um, – I've, I've at least seen a cartoon of it, um, so maybe it wasn't um, actually an episode. But uh, Dave Parker, I believe, is on the veterans' ballot along with Mattingly, um, uh, if I remember right. Dale Murphy, Dave Parker. Um, there's a few guys. Murphy that are kind of, I think so, too. Um, Tom Seaver? Speaking of Hall of Famers, sleeve that. Hey, Tony hey, Gwynn. Hey, hey. That wow, that's be nice guy. too. It still is in, in really nice condition. And I and I hate to tell you, look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty nice border on that, actually. Very nice. Darwin. Rudy Law. Dwight Evans, also on the Veterans Committee. Yep. <laughs> this is like a Veterans Committee pack. We'd like to hit. Mr. Donnie, who is on it also, Bruce Hurst, and Flanagan. All right, a couple nice cars there. Uh, Tony Gwynn probably uh, could grade, maybe. I think that's probably gradable, absolutely. Um, this, is a, um, this is a set with those big, fat, white borders. And when you get them nice and well-centered, they really pop and um, very desirable. So um, I don't know that if it's just good. a little bit top to bottom, but I'm not sure exactly what is constitutes, you know, perfect. Oh, it's okay. about like what, what we've been seeing, though. No, oh, you're right. There's a might be a little top to bottom there. Just a little bit, I think. It's kind of hard to say. But uh, anyway, three packs to go for Brian M. That's some pretty good cards so far. Pretty decent stack. All right. Langford. That in. Trio, Pat Tabler, Tim Wallach, Filson, Phil Necro, Johnson, Ooh. 
Who's that? Sammy Stewart, I know. It's uh, these guys. This is like Eric Estrada. Are... <laughs> right? Hey, yeah. look at that. There's hey. so many cards that if we ever circle back to this set that we can use for a lotto, there's just so many cool. And this is definitely one of them. The, the Glenn Hubbard is, is uh, uh, Brian M's getting all the like iconic cards in the set. From both. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That last card. What was that? Is he holding his own card? Oh, yes. That's right. Um, but it's not the it's uh 80 what is that 82 Fleer? Sorry, I've, it off. I've never seen that card. Can't believe I just spotted that. Thank you because I almost blew by it too, and I hate that. You know what he's happens got, is all, all he's the got time every it's... novelty card in that in his stack so far. I that's crazy. Well, isn't there? There's one more, I think. Um, anyway, but yeah, they, this is this is an awesome set. It's just killer, but yeah, I believe he's holding uh, Larry McWilliams is holding his 82. Fleer baseball card. So they really were trying to like, you know, stand out. Um, the photography, the imagery. They hold your hold your card up for us. Later we're gonna do something special. Or anything, like you know, umbrella hat, not just you know, a picture yeah. of the guy on the mound or right. you know, in a in a you know fielding stance or something that we've seen a thousand times. So it's that's like, why the uh, set is pretty cool. Make the hatcher with like the oversized gloves. Yes. Um, Yes. I don't think he's in the league at this point, though. This is before his time, I think. Dusty Baker? Dusty. He was a gamer. <laughs> he's a notoriously mean manager uh, when you're on the opposition. There's a lot of clips of him, like, you know, with a, with a sharp tongue towards the, you know, the other manager and the umpires. And Rick Monday, looking old there. Joe Simpson. <laughs> Doyle Alexander. I always liked his name. Joe Negro. Uh, so this guy got Joe and Phil Negro in the same... Uh, a stack as well, by the way. For those that's another scores. one. There's so many. There's so many lottos that we could do, like the Negro Brothers, um, this Tony Pena, Delbera, Alan Ashby. All right, one pack to go, Brian. M. It'd be so nice to hit our chase card right out of the gate and just get it off the table. Um, we'll see. Whoops. Bottom pack had a little bit of a tear on the edge. Phil Negro on the back. All right, Luis Salazar, Pants Law. It's like he's posing for a third grade like school picture. Yeah. Like, you know, he just needs to put the hand under the chin, and he's all set. Yeah. Glenn Hoffman, Bedrosian. Sure. Hey, wait, Mickey Hatcher, we thought that he was before his time. Well, there he is. I don't see the glove either. So it's no. not this one. He's uh, there. That's really funny. We literally just said him. Yeah, there he is. I, I, yeah. Um, well, we ha we'll have to find that out. It's I think it is Fleer, though. Um, yeah, it's 86 Fleer. And that it's 86, the, okay. But he does it again, like in 88, right. I think. Oh, nice. Ripken. Nice. Ripken, absolutely. Um, that is one of the chase cards in real life in this set. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It is just a little bit left to right, but that is, that's a nice send-off in the final pack there because that's a nice card. Um, Mike Madden, another trio. And Wallach, we had this little run before, Phil Necro. We had that little run of six cards, but that was the only repeats right at the end. Um, and uh, Gwyn, Ripken, and all those funny cards. I know. This is a good stack. Um, nice stack. Uh, I like this box so far. Let's, I'd like to start hitting some of those double cards. Um, and the Ripken is really, really sharp. It is just a little bit left to right, unfortunately. Um, it's probably pretty and, tough. Uh, 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 a perfect 84 Fleer card because, like, all of them, one's a little up and down, one's a little left and right. You know, you never <laughs> get a card. Yeah, any of these ones that have that border, like even that, it just looks nice at first glance, but then, you know, it's left to right, obviously. So there were a few that were really nice in there. That's a that's pretty nice start, nice stack for Brian M. And we're going to move over to Danny R. in the upper right. What don't you wish those said like basketball instead of baseball? <laughs> well, this was did they do eighty four basketball? I don't know, but uh, yeah, I mean just that. Uh, that's like you know how they like, separate the word baseball. Like that's how they did it for basketball too. Like, and it's funny because everyone ignored basketball and football back then. If you remember, like I know, I know. Well, you in a card shop, you may have you you know those guys may have found, but I mean, all my friends, we totally ignored basketball cards. Um, back totally. then, 
I think I've told you this story before, but in 86, my dad brought cases of 86 clear basketball in and nobody bought it. It sat in our garage. We would open the cards and throw them on the ground and just for the stickers. Probably through like you know, a time machine, I'd probably go back to that day and probably stop myself from doing that. <laughs> yeah, you guys were flipping around like $5,000 cards around Easily. your uh, garage. You know? <laughs> right? Nice. <laughs> All right, Eric Shaw. Look at these cards. These I, I just like the set. The, I mean, you just see image it, you know, USA Network in the background, no problem. Budweiser in the upper left. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. You know, uh, this is the Wild West. You know, um, Mike Schmidt. Nice. Look at that. Nice card. On Hodges. Funny is like all these stadiums in the background are all like empty for the most part. Oh, here's that Tabler uh, Tim Wallach Negro. Yeah, we well we we nah, well they snuck in a um uh, they oh, snuck no. in a Pete, Pete yeah or Rich Monday and Joe Simpson. Hopefully we can break out of that rut. Um, so yeah, that's the third time we've seen that. Fleer's usually pretty good about it, but this is early '80s still, you know. So this has got a Hall of Famer in his first pack. First pack, Mike Schmidt um, probably led the league for most of the 80s in power numbers in the National League. Um, all right, Bill Gullickson, Pujols, Hill, Robin Yao, another Hall of Famer. Hall of Fame. Yeah, nice. Nice border, too. Pretty pretty decent. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's pretty close. Dave possible, Steve. possible future Veterans Committee guy, Dave Steeb. Absolutely. That's a nice... Uh, that's a nice border on that. You're the one that put me on to, um, I didn't actually realize that he's like, he was like five pitches away from like four no hitters or something ridiculous yeah. like that. Like, like he had a no hitter, but he, he got to like the top of, or the top or the bottom of the ninth, like five other times. And once was like a perfect game and they were like all yeah. blown except for the yeah. one. Um, but like literally if like six or seven pitches go his way, then he has like four or five no hitters. A completely different career. Right. And people look at him completely differently. Like, you know, right. everything about, it, but, you know, he's the same pitcher. And so anyway. Um, and also uh, pitchers used to pitch like, like 300 innings back then, you know, it was like, <laughs> right. Just wear him out. Yeah. Spilner, Charlie Lee, not to be confused with Charlie Lee Brent. Shelby. Granny Martin, Ted Simmons. Uh, oh, yeah, Steve. Yeah, having, Steve Howell looks like he's having a sleep. I know. Every once in a while, you get like a normal card, like a guy batting, and then you get like three, like you know, they're, where they're saying, "No, we're going to be different this year. We're going to don't gonna be the same old cards." We don't want pictures of baseball players playing baseball. Mister Al Holland, part of our double card uh, the next year. Uh, yeah. The Holland Tunnel, uh, <laughs> which is still kind of silly that they did that, but uh, Bride, Hawkins, Fletcher, Zachary, Stanley, Burns, Slasky, Gaetti. And we get oh. one of the double cards, Al Oliver. Nice. So we should be hitting Tim Raines soon, not in this uh, pack, but um, they put them pretty close together. So I forgot to see that, Robin Yao. Um, uh, but yeah, um, Al Oliver, just to give him some, you know, give him his moment in the sun, uh, 83 was really his only year where, you know, he made the all-star team, you know, he had a decent stat line, probably won't be on here, but, uh, um, uh, 38 doubles. Uh, so he led the league, you know, he, he had a great 1983. So we got a double card. Um, and I actually saw someone in the comments, uh, of the jabs break say that it was Reigns and Dawson. And I'm like, hey, give out Oliver his due. He got his double card. Like, so uh I'll tell you, uh, he also um one of those rare few that have played for both that played for both the Expos and the Blue Jays. Oh yeah? He's, uh, you know, not too many guys played for both Canadian teams. He's one of them. Do they have like a rivalry? Um or did they, they you did, know they did back in the back in the day, but they were in different leagues. So they had like a Canada Day game they used to play. Nobody cared. <laughs> I didn't even know about that. There he is. Do you Tim smell Raines. what's rock cooking? All right. So uh, so now Danny R is looking really hard for Steve Trout. 
uh, now we got to hit Steve Trout to to get a holiday box. Uh, but um, double card, nice. Ooh, that's, that's actually the second best card in the set um, in graded condition. I hate to tell you that is nice condition. We'll look at that in a second. Um, border actually looks really nice on it um, at first glance, anyway. Um, Glad. Tape Stewart, nice, like a second or third year card. And Lou Whitaker, um, is he on the veterans committee? Who was more feared feared than Dave Stewart in like '88? Oh, he was so yeah, he was ferocious. Five years in a row, he was like dominant. I'm surprised people don't talk about him more. And I don't think he even won Cy Young during any of that, did he? I know he had 20 wins at least once. Um, He was just like a playoff beast. And that Nolan Ryan is sharp. I don't know if it's perfect. It might be just a little bit to the left, but it is, um, it is really sharp. And let me do the Tim Raines, and then we'll put those together real quick. Keep going. So Tim Raines uh, and Mr. Al Oliver. That's fun. I love those double cards, and you're the one who taught me about them. These are awesome. And everyone else blows by them. Let's give them their moment in the sun. It's, it's a unique part of these sets. Um, and, yeah. um, but I will say this. In the Jabs comments of their break, like people gave it to them. I would say there's like seven or eight people that are like, dude, you blew right by like the double cards. You blew right by Glenn Hubbard. Like, how dare you? So, Yeah, here when uh, you and I do breaks, uh, we don't blow by any cards. <laughs> I know. If anything, we, dra- we drag. <laughs> we, have, we have Ron O'Wester anecdotes. We obsess over, you know, his hairline, um, Rick Dempsey. What does it say underneath Rick Dempsey, the MVP? Oh, that was a World Series highlight. Never mind. Yeah, World like- Series. They were, uh, they were champs in 1983. Ripken, that was the year of the Orioles. Uh, um, Ripken MVP, like Willie Randolph, George Foster. There's a really funny uh, uh, Stuttering John clip where he asks George Foster – if he ever um, uh, flatulated in the catcher's face and then he gets to see George, George Foster not be too pleased with him. Um, it's on YouTube. Check that out. Uh, <laughs> George Foster, very, very nice guy. And he actually hung in there with Stuttering John a little, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't like, you know, mean to him or anything, but uh, Steve Sanderson, but a funny clip. Part of the big red machine. Absolutely. Um, and just missed out on the, uh, on the Mets. Um, uh, championship he was with him like the year before uh yeah sort of like mattingly with the yankees yes yes i know poor mattingly well yeah. I, yeah, I posted, we, we posted a paulo neal card on uh on our my uh jack of all trades instagram today his rookie card and i was like looking at his stats and i was like this guy won five world series championships and mattingly's got zero whoa is roy lee jackson singing the national anthem what's happening there that's crazy. He is. <laughs> Can you please leave that card? <laughs> is that really happening? Did that actually happen? It must have. I mean, is he? Is it like with a choir, or is he actually doing it in the ballpark? Um, or you're Mr. Like, Blue Jay. Or he's standing in front of the singer, and it's just like the way that it's framed, it looks like he's singing. Cause, but it looks like he's singing. <laughs> I don't that's, think. I, <laughs> that's a great card. You got to sleep that. Uh, we got, we'll get we'll get to the bottom of that because it, right you're right it could have been a photographer saying you know what it kind of looks like he's singing the national anthem we to the are, stadium. We are to develop cult classic followings for certain cards from these breaks that we do. I'm telling you, especially That's these awesome. these mid '80s Fleer cards are. Just Nobody cool. states the Roy Lee Jackson national anthem card. I was gonna say. You know, Danny R should um, get a pop get one that. of this, but um, it's going to be left to right. Just unfortunately, it would probably get a nine, though. Uh, I've got- never seen that card in my life. Like, I have no memory of that card. <laughs> Me either. We got to get to the bottom of that. Was he a singer? I'm sure it would tell us some- at some point. Like I I said- feel- <laughs> That's incredible. Look at that hair. He's Who's rocking. The- I'm trying to see who the, tell who they're playing there in the background. It's kind of hard to tell. It's all white. And old Rangers, yeah. Well. Why would Roy awesome. Jackson be singing the national anthem in, a, uh, in an away game? 
Yeah, that's their away uniforms, right? Those uh, baby yeah. blue. We'll get. We'll have to get to, to the bottom of that, but uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. Raleigh See, fingers. The jabs guys, they blow right by that Roy Lee Jackson. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Raleigh fingers. Uh, Dwayne fired. Murphy. Wayne Walker. Walker. The rookie winner. Can force. Oh, let's see. Quisenberry. He's the, uh, he's the box card. I always like hitting that. Um, that's the fuck. That's, that's what they put on the box. That guy. Top of, that's top of the, yeah. The, the top of the box. Quisenberry. Um, I, I think agree. he, uh, I don't know if, what he, I think he won. I don't want to say Cy Young. I think he did. He had did like he? 100 saves. In 85, he was like a Blue Jay killer, I'll tell you that. He had 45 saves in 83. I think you're right. I think that's why he's on the box. I think he won um, American League uh, Cy Young. Uh, Mookie Wilson. Uh, <laughs> he's in the bat like a Tommy gun. Neil Allen. And Rick Manning on the back. Making contact. Yeah, reaching for that one. Yeah. It's a nice, nice picture. All right, so these are nice. Uh, these are, uh, I always like, I feel like I've done something when I hit the box card, you know, that's on top of the box. Even when it's 86 tops and you hit Pete Rose, you still, you're like, yes, it's the box card. 80, off the top of your head without cheating, what's the box card for 1987 tops? Um, oh, is it uh, Rigetti? No. Yes. Um, yes. It is, yes. Rigetti. Yeah. yeah. Because he actually broke, speaking of uh, 45 saves, he broke the record that year, right? Um, to 46. That's why he was in 86. Um, we need to do like a baseball card trivia, uh, like a Jeopardy thing. And uh, have you on it as a contestant. Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting back into it. I'm getting more warmed up. Uh, a year ago, oh. I'm, you know, I, I definitely lose, but I'm definitely getting warmed back up. Bob Stanley, Burns. Super happy. Gary got it. We have it. Uh-oh. Double card. Double Ooh. card alert. <laughs> yeah, double card. That's all right. Oh, double in the same pack. Yeah, yeah. The same pack and uh, the same stack. So, uh, Spike Owen same and Stern. Pack, double card. That is a lot of hit if you ever ask. Now the trout's got to come. <laughs> oh, poor, uh, poor Danny oh, R. He gets two Tim Raines, two double cards. I should have made that the lotto. Next time, we definitely have to do that. Double cards have to be the lotto, part of it. Especially if they get hit in the same pack, that should pay extra. Well, Fleer definitely puts them near each other in the collation. They're not always in the same pack, they're, but they're usually within a pack or two, it seems like, anyway. All right, final pack, Danny R. Let's look for Steve Trout, Donnie Baseball. Difficult to, uh, to pull Rick uh, Rock Reigns cards. They're all going early. I know. That's right. If he doesn't hit the lotto, then he's going to, you know, He's going to waste them all for everyone else. He's playing defense. <laughs> Rick Camp. Not the greatest picture there. We're in White House. Uh-oh. We've seen... Uh, that perm. Jamie Stewart. We saw a couple of these guys. This, Yeah, we hey, saw J.J. Hey, hey, Stone again. <laughs> and uh, that's cool. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Whoa, 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 Larry holding his card. Oh, yes. We established that. We established you know why? Because my, my darn thumb right over. Uh, we established that as a classic pull. Like, <laughs> and no Steve Trout, uh, unfortunately. But uh, we got the 10 I, We got 10 rings for days. I got to just, just grab my charger. Give me one second. Sure. And uh, I think the uh, Kansas City Chiefs just scored a touchdown. Yeah, about that. What's the score in that game, the Raiders and the Chiefs? Good stack, Danny R. Um, those double cards are awesome. Um, no, uh, I want to hit the strawberry for you. Um, Stu, uh, Stu's stack is next. He is charging up, so we'll wait for him. Stu's stack is going to hit the Mattingly and the strawberry, and it's like the rich get richer. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, and someone's sticker over here, probably Danny R's. Um, this is so exciting. All right, you ready? These are yours, buddy. You can... I, I, my my patented pack is the second from the bottom is the one where I'm calling my shot. Oh, that's, so you... that's, that's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right, here we go. 
Good luck. All right, Steve. let's go. I'd like to hit the lotto and get that Hanukkah box. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The holiday box. Which Weiniger? Definitely got Not some. Uh, <laughs> Some uh, nicotine, some, some chew going. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And Darwin with the face there. Steve Carlton, nice first Hall of Famer there. What's he holding? It's what care? He's holding. Uh, he looks like he signed the uh, um, program. Yep. Looks like everybody signed. The whole team signed it. It must have been like you know for a charity or something like that. And he's the last guy to sign it. And uh, yeah, take my picture with it. Um, he was one of those big cocaine guys, too. Oh, that's right. That's right. I do remember that now. Uh, Milner. And uh, Force Warren and Rigetti, 1983 no hitters. Nice. Well, look at that. Eric Schau. We have seen him before. We saw Mike Schmidt before. Schmitty. Right. Hodges. Gedman and Gary Templeton on the back. All right, first pack is two Hall of Famers there from the Phillies. Beasts of the 80s. I don't feel better. <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. I don't feel great about that. No? No, uh, we, we need to pull a straw man. We're, we we're done. We, we need to step it up. Um, let's move your packs here. And let's... Um, that's a Skype. beautiful 83 top, uh, that tops traded strawberry you got back there. I always eyeball that. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love that card. Yeah. That was one of those along with the, uh, the traded good that, you know, when I was a kid, I could never bring myself to like, you know, spend the $50 or whatever that it went for. You could spend $50 like an insane way as a kid when baseball cards, then you just, you just couldn't do it on one card. Um, Billy Martin. Orozco. We've seen Orozco and Mr. Uh, Prerogative before. I'm trying to think who if that was the Nolan Ryan. See that guy. Sixto Lexingcano. Uh-oh, I got a fire alarm going off in my building. Uh-oh. Is it a real one? Do you really have to leave? I I mean, if I, I die so. on <laughs> If I die on some web chat, it'll probably decrease your right. ratings. But you know what? It's during your pack, so uh, I, we I can just, pause. I can, mute, I can just mute my sound. I'll just mute my sound. You can keep going. If you see, you like, have... smoke stuff coming into the picture, though, please, like, uh, immortalize me with in some way. <laughs> we've, got, we've got it all on video. Yeah. All right. Third pack. And we hope Stu is okay there. Um, <laughs> at least it happened to me all the time uh, to the point where, you know, we'd almost sleep through them in college. Um, uh, Buddy Bell. Uh, Lopez. Gary Matthews. Ken Daly. Looking very relaxed. John Tudor. With a first baseman Smith there as a pitcher. Jim Palmer. Oh, who did we hit after Jim Palmer before? Nice. Nice. Let's leave both of those cards. They're pretty consistent with their collation. Um, so hopefully we can get into the, the part of the system where they, get, they shoot out the strawberries and the Mattingly's. Um, but uh, Cal Ripken is super, ni super nice. Um, yeah, it's just like the other one. Um, the other one was just a little bit left to right. Um, not terrible, but... Uh, Don't you dare talk that way card. about my Calvin. But nice card. <laughs> Beautiful. Road. This is like... These are the first new cards to be added to my new collection. Sharp. These that. are sharp, too. These Pack Fresh Fleer cards are just awesome. So, uh, so you didn't... You don't smell smoke or anything? You think you're good? The alarm's off, so I think we're good. All right. Uh, this Daryl is, Porter this on the back. A good pack right here, I think. Right. John Stearns. Spike Owen. We did see Spike Owen before, right at the end of a pack, if I remember right. Raleigh Fingers. Yeah. Nice centering on the Raleigh. Mm -hmm. Eddie Murray. Ooh. A little bit left to right. Yeah, the hack, man. We've got this pack. 
Pac-Man, yes. We definitely had this run. Steve Sachs. Fernandez. Ooh, that's that's a right. card, I think. Well, you're a Blue Jays fan, so um, people overlook uh, Fernandez. He was an all-star throughout the 80s, uh, kind of overlooked. Um, um, Who did the ball famously from the Cleveland Indians World Series? You recall 1997 World Series? Tony Fernandez booted the ball, and my and the Marlins won the World Series. Oh right, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm sure he had a better moment than that. Um, he did. I, didn't I remember think. Remember him for. <laughs> yeah, there's the Raleigh fingers. Really nice centering on the Raleigh. Maybe I can find someone in Raleigh fingers family that wants to buy that off me. <laughs> and checklist on the back. Sometimes that's a good omen. All right, Met sticker. Jim Slayton looking very pleased with himself. John Matlack. Tug McGraw, look. Look at that. With the, um, is that a printing error? Did he have a tobacco teeth there? Father of Tim McGraw. What is going on there? He forgot to get the tobacco out of his teeth. Looks um, like sunflower seeds. <laughs> it might be. Let's hope. <laughs> Um, yes, he, uh, they, um, tug of all trades. We, um, we made that, uh, yes. correlation before hey, oh, a, a, double, a double card we haven't seen. <laughs> Sexy boy. This is good. This is a good we sign. make sure we didn't, we didn't, it'd be all the way to the left. No, we would have stopped on it. So there'll be a left bordered card with no left border, hopefully coming soon. All right. That's pretty cool. And yeah, actually, um, uh, I learned more about that after you reminded me of that. Tim McGraw actually, what did he do? He did something in his dad's honor before World Series um, where the Phillies played a few years ago. Um, what year was it? I can't remember. 2013. Um, uh, um, might even been before that. But anyway, he did something um, uh, to honor his dad, like at the mound or whatever. His dad passed um, years ago. Um, all right, four packs to go, Stu. I feel like he wrote a book like back in the day, too. Hug McGraw. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he was, a, he was a great pitcher for a while. Bo Diaz. Ooh, we know all about his fate. <laughs> yeah, poor Bo Diaz. Jerry not Augustine. A direct, not, a, not a direct TV subscriber. No, he is not. Unfortunately, that's how he'll be remembered. <laughs> Matt Young. Checklist. Milt May. Oh, no. Look at that. Jeez. Have you ever seen a less intimidating presence than Milt May? What was that guy's name? Look at that pose. <laughs> Milt May. Milt May is just happy to be there. That uh, Bob Newhart? <laughs> right. It does look. It looks just like him, actually. Or uh, the it's comedian Bill Burr. Yeah. Looks like Bill yeah. Burr, doesn't That's it? It's crazy. Either one. Dude, I don't know. Chili, Chili Davis rookie card. That's a rookie and, card for Chili Davis. And that went right to the most intimidating look after the least intimidating. Um, does back he to back. Tape around the barrel of his bat. He does. It's a um, like you know fungo. I think you know uh, for hitting it, hitting infield. Um, it is a weird bat to pose with. I don't think he wanted to pose right there. I think they caught him like you know <laughs> not, in a, a, not in a good can mood. His rookie card. Can you check and see if that's his rookie card? Oh yeah. Let's look and see. Um, it is actually. Um, Chili yeah. Davis rookie card. Nice. We'll see that for you. Thanks, man. And Dickie Thon. This was, uh, he, um, I think 1983. He's actually, um, uh, he's on the other side of the, the Steve Sachs double card. Uh, it's Dickie Thon. Oh. Uh, this yep. was actually the, he had a few years there where he was, he was an, an excellent, um, shortstop and a second baseman. And I think this was, uh, I think 83 was like his only all star year. Um, I think it's why he's on the double card, but, we haven't hit it yet. Usually it's in the next pack. Um, that'd be Not terrible if we, yeah, if we don't hit it. Um, let me just leave that, that chili rookie for you. That was probably like a $3 card at one point. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the fungo bat and all. <laughs> Not very happy there. All right, three packs to go, Stu. And no matting on the back. Oh, oh. Well, 
a so, different one. Not a groove. different one. This is we're touching on the third one now. Um, uh, so at least we've hit parts of all three. Um, we haven't completed the second one yet, but this is Rod Carew, um, half of uh, the um, AL batting championship um, card. And, and touching, ironically, Lee Tunnel it was uh, touching Rod Carew, our other buddy. Yeah, I think we let off with Holland a, a few packs ago. Um, Garcia, Andrew, Don Hood. It's all right because we got the hot pack coming. Um, we weren't really yeah. expecting anything out of this pack. Um, no, this was just gravy. Yeah. Here we go. This is the Mattingly strawberry moment. Same pack. <laughs> Uh, all right, so there's Rod Carew. Um, he was getting towards the end of his career here, but um, he was the uh, batting champion runner-up. This was almost like a passing of the torch. Uh, um, what Wade Boggs was to the batting title and 200 hits in the 80s, Rod Carew was in the 70s. Um, and he was still actually pretty much going strong in the 80s. Um, amazing player, Rod Carew, forever. All right, we'll slow peel the hot pack here. Um, see what we... Uh, hot pack here. <laughs> hey Indians, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Mike and Scott. Who we saw a pack ago, so I'm not sure if that's a good sign, but um <laughs> it is Tony really Phillips. Good. And I think you've got more checklists in the stack than the rest of the box combined so far. Dave Kingman. Um if you ever want to see a funny video, uh Tommy Lasorda. Um uh, there's a reporter that goes into the clubhouse and asks him after a game where they lost in the 13th inning to the third Dave Kingman home run of the game. He had three home runs and eight RBIs. The reporter goes in and says, Hey, Tommy, what did you think of Kingman's performance? So don't have your speakers turned up when you listen for the sort of reply. Um, Dave Kingman, a uh, great home run hitter for a long, long, long time. Um, people, people forget about him. Uh, back with, Oh, we're slow people. I forgot. Oh, Yastrzemski. Is that his last card? I think it is. Forgot he was in the set. I think that's his last card. Definitely sleeve that. Amazing player for a long time. Triple crown, MVP, you name it. He had it all. Not oh, looking good, boys, but we got the second half of uh, something here. We got there Boggs. We got Boggs and Carew. Boggs. So we completed Boggs one and... of the double cards. Al Bumbry. Take... Mr. October. Red. Man. Yeah, he got um, he got checked with something high and tight. It looks like probably deserved it. Fergie Jenkins, an eighty-year Hall of Famer. I think uh, I'll take Fergie it. Jenkins is a Hall of Famer, actually. Um, and yeah, absolutely. Let's um, a bunch of Hall of Famers in this. So it was hot for Hall of Famers. I think um, you know we could all we you know there's so many ways you can do lottos, but I mean. How about like five Hall of Famers in the same pack? You know, I would say like it's a pretty successful stack when you have like de sleeved cards coming your way. <laughs> look how many, look at all those cards in the sleeves. Absolutely, we still got a pack to go, but um, let's put the uh, let's put the Boggs and the Carew together. Passing of the torch card here. Wow. Nice, oh, wow. great That's card! Cool. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang that in my bathroom. Yeah, get that, um, you can almost get, like, get that slabbed, you know, like in case, like together or something. Um, one of those yeah, double card cases. Collecting all the double cards. I, I think there's one touches where you can do that now, um, where you can put two cards together because there's so many like fold out cards. Last packs, do. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. This is always a fun break. Oh, I had a, you know what I had? Well, we'll wait till you after your, your uh, I had a couple questions for you. I always forget. Dwayne so Murphy, Walker, Boniker. <laughs> we've seen him before in his happy face. Yeah, we've seen these guys before, unfortunately. A few of them, anyway. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same run. Mr. Boxcard. And Mookie Wilson with the Tommy gun. Chris Welsh. Spilner. Yeah. Didn't happen for me. The tooth. John Shelby, all happy, and Remy Martin. All right, so um, that was a nice stack, though. 
uh, for sure. Well, Does that mean that the, cool. the next stack is going to get both Strawberry and Mattingly? I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to get nervous now because we've seen some doubles, you know, and it's like Fleer seems to be pretty consistent. So I don't know. I'm crossing my fingers. Roger M, he's done it before. Roger M is, is um, lit it up for us before, if you remember. Um, Roger's uh, a damn legend. Yeah. All right. Look at Tony Bernazar. Look at those awful players on the side of the package. I, mm. I think it, it must have been random on this one because I don't understand the Yeah, Ray Smith. I mean, um, Schramm was probably like a twins leader in something, but I don't think it was like a league leader. Um, so I, that may have just been random or, you know, who knows. Um, <laughs> all right, Roger M. First pack for you. Good luck, buddy. I think he's going to pull Strawberry and Manning Lee. He's got to. Let's hope so. That's not a good sign because that's like our third Jesse Orozco. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Isn't this how your stack started out? Yes. Oh boy. All right. Let's try to let's try to break free. Oh, can just, turn. That's a nice card, though. You can just jabs past this pack. Oh, yeah, look at that. The Pete Rose, Danny Heap. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's run away from that, that collation. See if we can outrun it. <laughs> um, oh, no. I know what I was going to ask you. Um, I, uh, I noticed that at the end of the movie, okay, you had told me um, uh, about Luis Medina, right? Yes. I noticed at the very end of the movie, and it, and it, and it reminded me that you, there was like some Luis Medina stuff that was cut out, that there's like a whole stack of Luis Medina cards yes. in the fire. Yes. And I know that had to relate to, so I don't know, maybe you don't want to, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything if there's something coming in like a future, but I was just, I was like, you know what? I never noticed that before, but it reminded me about the, so I don't know if there was any special meaning to that or if it's a secret it or. Yes. No, that's a great eye. Yes. Um, I probably acquired more than almost five or 6,000 Luis Medina cards. Why? Can because, I ask uh, <laughs> Well, it didn't make it into the movie, but my plan was, like, everybody kept the Griffey Jr. card, card number one. Right. Who kept card number two, Luis Medina? Nobody. So I told Louis, I, ca I called Luis Medina, and I got to speak to him, and I told him, I'm going to make your rookie card the most famous rookie card because I'm going to have the only one that's going to be graded and make right. your you card... You showed that so, was in the last break, yes. Uh, so I ended up uh, acquiring thousands of Luis Medina rookie cards and burning them all. <laughs> so that harkened back to what your dad said, right? I mean, that was kind of the yeah. thing at the end. Like, yes. the only way to make, make them valuable is to just burn them all. Yes. <laughs> so so you graded I, one. You got a top one. one. And burn the rest. <laughs> and burn out. I feel like there's a Grimm's fairy tales that did that same thing or something. Like, um... <laughs> or am I thinking like burning and, all the uh, spindles? Cut out kingdom. of the movie, so my plan my plan backfired, and now I just have like a Louis Medina in a slab. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> nice. Maybe, you never know. You never know. You never know. Strange things can happen. Dave yeah, Stewart. Dave Stewart again, and we had a really nice Nolan Ryan. Um, so we've uh, we've quietly hit the second best card in the set twice, but we're tiptoeing around the best card, which is uh, the heck of it is. Look at that! Uh, look at that border. That looks like a gem mint ten. I mean, I don't even want to turn it over. I almost want to one touch that. Um, <laughs> I almost want to one touch that for for Roger M. That is uh I might do that. That's 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 sharp. If we don't use the one touch on a Mattingly, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on that Ryan because that's I'm still looking at that. that I don't looks, see anything wrong with it. That looks like pretty perfect. Card. Looks nice, nice. But let's hope we use it on something else. Uh, there's the Wade Boggs double card. Uh oh, we're still lost in the the collation, unfortunately. Um, but there's there's some nice cards in this little collated set. Um, Denny, Garber, Morales. So at least we're hitting a few nice cards, but yeah, let's let's shake it up a little bit. 
but yeah, that Ryan is that Ryan is good stuff. A box gets BBC whatever wrapped. It like instantly is worth like a hundred dollars more. Yeah, I mean, to some people, I'm I'm kind of like I don't know. I've I've had I, I've had more. I, I don't know. It's kind of like down the middle. Um, some of our luck. I almost like uh, there's a, a half of Steve Sachs, but we still haven't seen Dickie Thon. We've seen two left halves because um, that doesn't match uh, Boggs. That goes with the Dickie Thon. So we still still hit Dickie Thon. But um, I know what you're saying. I'm kind of almost like I like to kind of look for the the ones that look like they've just been kind of rattling rattling around in the closet somewhere um, and uh, just look authentic to me, but haven't been wrapped and cost like, you know, a hundred bucks more. Frank Viola and Sutcliffe. Some nice cars there. So people just like send them a box and they're like, okay, we put a wrap around it. And they get well, he, like- no, well, he, it's a little more than that. They, um, he actually inspects all the packs. Well, that's um, good. I've actually met those. I've actually bought stuff from those guys before, and they are really great guys. But part of to. me is like, yeah. wow. Part of me is like, wow, they're geniuses. Like, they came up with such – like, how did no one else think to do this? Yeah, they can wrap um, – they can wrap cases. Um, uh, I was almost going to have an 86 Dunrest ca- case wrapped, but um, uh, I purchased it, actually. Yeah. Um, I think I me- messaged you about it. I purchased it. When the guy went to go wrap it up for me, the like top came open, and he wouldn't discount it even a dollar. So I'm like, well, you know, that's it's completely different value if it's opened, unfortunately. And in, yeah. so we had to we had to cancel the deal. But they can actually wrap an entire case with that wrapping, um, which is crazy. Oh, we've got a um, we got the right side of a we got the we got the box card there. Um, remember, Mr. Ray Smith, and we have Mr. Dicky Thon. Finally, that whole time, yeah, there he is. So we can put him with his buddy Steve Sachs there, Dan Ford. And so new card is always good to see when you're kind of stuck in a little collation dump that uh hard to get uh Sachs without Dickie. <laughs> and that looks like uh I don't know, that's a couple of buddies. Yeah, looks like the old Dodger Stadium, maybe. I'm not sure. It's definitely not the Astrodome. So all right, three packs to go. Ugh. I hate not hitting our chase card. I, I don't know if he's in here or not, but I, I like uh, – we've hit pools before, unfortunately. We've hit Robin Yout before. Dave Steeb. Dale Barra. Ashby. Checklist. Checklist. Whoa. Double checklist. Same, same checklist, though. It is. It is, actually. Double What's checklist. What's the chances of that? That's, I mean, pro- that's, that's a lottery hit. <laughs> absolutely. Back. And you know we haven't hit Steve Trout at all. Um, no. We hit Steve Trout in almost every break um, to the point where it's like, of course, the one where I make him the lotto. We've literally hit him like six breaks in a row. As a matter of fact, he was the first card out of the box in '86 tops, the very <laughs> first card out with his blackout glasses and his big hair out on the mound with no hat on. Um, '86 tops. '86 tops break. Like, um, Vince Coleman. We tried to pair. What did we do? We tried to pair it up. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, Ripken. I think we tried to pair Ripken with. Did we do eighty two? I think we did eighty two Donruss. Look at that. We talk. All we have to do is talk about him. So you know. Oh if, look uh, at that. Roger, hey. Roger M. <laughs> <laughs> he's the first. He's the first card out. As soon as we started talking about him. All right, Roger M. Let's see if we can hit a Tim Raines for you and at least, you know, salvage uh, Gorman Thomas. I don't think we've seen Gorman Thomas yet. Yeah, but Vakua? Oh, coming. Uh, coming. that's another t- great Tommy Lasorda clip, which I know you've probably heard. But yeah, Vakua. Like, you've I'll send a little the- pick him up at his house. <laughs> yes. With guys like Bev Vakua, who couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. But, you know, lots yeah. of expletives thrown in also. Uh, <laughs> That's a great clip. Uh, Winfield. We did see Winfield before. We, we haven't seen a couple of those guys. So, Is Winfield not a Hall of Famer? I feel like he must be. He has to be. Yeah. Doesn't he? Have, he has to have like 1,500 RBIs. He has to be. I should have sleeped him. You're right. Disrespect on your part. I know. We got to. Um, we'll make That's it up to. Um, all right. Final pack. Let's see if we can. If we don't hit. Mattingly or Strawberry, let's at least hit Tim Raines, uh, so we can have a we can have a holiday uh, box. And to the people that like watched this on YouTube, hoping to see a Mattingly, and they made it all the way to the last pack. 
Right, because we we really drug out this break a little bit, but that's all right. Because it was this is a fun set, and it deserves uh, it deserves attention. Um, I agree. I don't we think we've seen. seen I don't no, think we've, we've seen not. these guys. No, we haven't. This is a good sign. This is a very good sign. This is a very good sign. Look at that, Jesus. Uh oh. We, we have seen him before, and I do like yes. Yaz, but I would rather have not seen him there. Um, <laughs> Anti Moffat, uh -oh. John Wathen. Yeah. Uh oh. I don't remember seeing Hendrick or George Bell. Spelled with a J. Kirk Gibson. Uh, I see oh, a first base. Man. Uh -huh. We were we, a lot of cards we haven't seen yet, but uh, yeah, we don't um, we don't hit it. Uh, unfortunately. Um, or the lotto, but we hit some fun cards. Um, we did. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, some boxes, they contain gold. Some boxes contain uh, great conversation pieces. I would say this was a great conversation piece type of break. It was a great conversation box. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. And, um, and you, hit some, you hit some nice cards. We'll recap yours for, real quick. Check them out. You got a lot of sleep cards over here. A lot of Hall of Famers. Um, the Stu Stone stack, I think you definitely had the most sleeve cards of anyone. The double card, which is awesome. Yeah, that's Rarely great. Seen. And in really good condition, by the way. Yaz, Mr. October, Chili Davis rookie card. Tug of all trades with the tobacco in his teeth. Steve Sachs, and you don't hit Dicky Thon. Roger M got your Dicky Thon. Um, Eddie Murray, Tony Fernandez, Jim Palmer. Nice Cal Ripken there. And Carlton and Schmidt rounded out. So um, that was a nice box overall. And let's um, let's recap the first stack because the first stack had some fun cards in it too. Um, uh, Brian M. He had a couple cards that you had: the Jim Palmer, the Cal Ripken, the Jay Johnstone, the Budweiser flag hat, Larry McWilliams holding his '82 Fleer card in '84 Fleer, discovered by us. Yes, Tony Gwynn. I forgot about that one. That was a nice one, actually. The Tony Gwynn. A lot of Hall of Famers here. And then the Glenn Hubbard. This was the only one that we saw. And uh, this was uh, the Philly Fanatics' birthday at Veterans Stadium. And uh, Glenn Hubbard hated this picture for a long, long time. Would not sign it. And he has come around to the fact that you can now buy a bobblehead um, of him with a snake around it, around his neck. <laughs> Pine tar incident. And, uh, and then a rose and a Murray. So um, fun break. Um, as always, Stu, I really appreciate you hanging in there, man. Yeah, um, lots of fun, man. Let's do it again. Yes, let's do it again soon. Stu Stone from Jack of All Trades uh, on Netflix and yes. iTunes. Netflix Canada yeah. now, not yes. just the United States. And yes. top trending everywhere. And um, we're going to do it again soon. Uh, have a great week, Stu. Yeah, you too, man. Take care. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I'll see you soon. Thanks, man. Bye.